Price, the gym leader of Mahogany Town, Price and Mahogany Town together kind of encapsulate all of the problems people have with Gen 2, but we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. Let's get into the theme deck. We're starting with the Assist Lapras. That is really good for grabbing supporter cards out of your deck. If you have a bad opening hand, don't worry about it because you can assist with Lapras. And in this theme deck format, Hypnoblast is actually going to be a pretty decent attack. Normally you would just use assist once and then get it out of the active position without doing anything else, but that would be for faster formats than theme deck. So we move on to another water type that can put your opponents to sleep with this Sky Ridge Seal. For only one water energy, you're going to be dealing 10 damage, and then you have a 50% chance of putting the opponent's Pokemon to sleep. So right off the bat, we may be just looking at a Sleep Disruption water type deck here. If you do get an ideal opening hand, you're looking to evolve up into Dugong on your second turn so that you can use Freeze Lock. This deals 20 damage and you have a 50% chance of stopping your opponent from attaching any energy cards to their active Pokemon next turn. Yes, that's easy to wiggle around and they can still attach to their bench, but it's still pretty disruptive. Crushing Ice is a bit more situational because it costs four energy and it's really just there to punish your opponent's big bulky Pokemon that have high retreat costs. For one water energy, Swineup actually has a 100% chance of inflicting a special condition on your opponent. You flip a coin and it's either paralyzed or asleep. For three energy, Palaswine does the same thing while also inflicting 20 damage. These are the types of attacks you're gonna be sticking to the most, just inflicting special conditions, freezing up your opponent, making it so they can't really do anything on their turn. But if you do wanna ramp it up, you do have Trample, which is gonna deal 40 damage. And then for each benched Pokemon in play, you flip a coin. If heads, that deals 20 damage. Now that includes your Pokemon, so that's why you wanna use this a little more sparingly. You really don't wanna start trampling until late game. That's gonna be your finisher, is to get this Pile of Swine into play with four energy on it, including one of the few fighting energy in this deck. By this time, a lot of your opponent's Pokemon should have chip damage on them anyway, and so this trample can be very threatening if you are hitting those heads on their benched Pokemon. Hopefully you're not hitting it too much on your own, but by that point, you should have you know, some higher HP Pokemon on the bench, like Lapras and Dugong. For Search and Draw, we're looking at the standard four copies of Pokemon Fan Club just to get all of those basics out of your deck and into play. Three copies of Underground Expedition, just because I thought it was a little more on theme, because pile of swine it digs it's a ground type you see where i was going with it for draw four copies of bill's teleporter if you've noticed i've just been kind of interchanging these where they seem to fit more i didn't want to go straight bills and just like yeah draw your whole deck bill's teleporter is more of flip some coins and maybe draw your entire deck plus some you can risk it a little bit because you do have the consistency card of Lapras in this deck. It's going to be able to grab supporters for you whenever you do find yourself in a bit of a pickle. Four copies of Goldberry that you're going to be reserving for some of your big hitters. So if you are going in on Dugong's big attack to punish heavy retreat costs on the other side of the field, then you want to be attaching there. Or if you're gathering up those four energy onto Pile of Swine, that pile of swine's gonna need some gold berries to stay alive and make that investment worth it. Because this deck leans so hard into disruption with those special conditions and even blocking your opponent's energy attachment to the active potentially with Dugong, we're gonna include a full play set of energy removal too because why not? If you're gonna go into disruption, you might as well go as far as you can. Three copies of Double Gust just in case your opponent, you know, is just continuously swapping out to get rid of those special conditions. You can just double gust them to get that key target Pokemon back into play. Just keep dragging out the same Pokemon and either putting it to sleep or paralyzing it over and over again while just hitting your opponent with energy removals can be very annoying. And then a couple copies of Switch just for some of the higher retreat costs in this deck like Pile of Swine and Dugong. A little bit earlier game, it's also good to get that Lapras out of the active position depriving your opponent of a KO after you've used assist and then hit them with a couple of Hypno Blasts. Four fighting energy just for Pile of Swine and then the rest of the deck is going to be filled out with basic water energy. This deck's going to play quite a bit differently depending on whether you're going first or second. I know that sounds kind of dumb to say because most Pokemon decks are like that, but if you are going first, you want to just get the energy attached to Lapras. That way next turn you can drop the second energy, assist into a supporter, 
that you can then use on your third turn. Now, if you are going second and you're able to attack, ideally you're starting with a seal or a swine up to start those special conditions early and potentially force your opponent to rethink their strategy on turn two or three. Hopefully you see what I mean there. It's one of those things that doesn't make a ton of sense until you've actually played around with the deck a little bit and understand that turn one, turn two difference. Let's talk Mahogany Town for a bit because what you have pictured here, that's it. There's a gym, a Pokemon Center, a shop, and a little something else. This is one of the tiniest towns in Pokemon, if not the tiniest. And it represents one of the biggest criticisms of Gen 2, being that because Kanto, all of Kanto, is the post-game, that all of Johto feels relatively empty because the space for all of those more flavorful assets that could have been added to these towns, or just more space, was used to just tack Johto onto the end of the game. Within Mahogany Town, Price also represents the other biggest complaint about Gen 2 is the level curve. Price is your seventh gym leader and his highest level Pokemon is 31. Yeah, you can do Price and Chuck a little bit out of order if you want to, but even then, this is your seventh gym leader. This also ties into the fact that Kanto exists as the end game where a lot of the higher level battles are supposed to happen. But I thought I would mention both of those things here at the end of the video and also shoehorn it in as an allegory or a metaphor for just how mid this deck I have created is. Not on purpose, if I could have made a ballin' pile of swine deck with an awesome dugong there as well, I would have, but the way that Price's in-game Pokemon transfer over to the TCG is very lackluster. So all in all, this deck is a representation of Price and Mahogany Town. 10 out of 10, I did a great job, thanks for watching. As far as alternates go, Light Dugong does fit with the theme. Freezing Breath is a pretty good turn to attack. Ice Pillar, uh, 40 damage for 3 energy, not as great. It is good against spread decks. So if you are up against one of the multiple spread decks that are actually in this theme deck format, then maybe just a one of a Light Dugong is worth sliding into the deck. There's also good old Legendary Collection Dugong, and the original build of this deck had two copies of this Dugong and two copies of the Sky Ridge one, but I figured that I give enough praise to this particular card enough just from any deck that includes water and base set. So it didn't make the cut, but if you're looking to just add some straight up power to this price deck, then Legendary Collection Dugong's the way to do it. 50 damage for three energy is good. There's a surprising number of Pile of Swines available in Neo, on the first one being in Neo Genesis. Freeze is, you know, it's very on theme for this deck, but for a two energy attack, it is really just not cutting it with that damage or the effect, considering how frequently Switch and Double Gust are used in Neo on decks. Same for Blizzard, it's just not good enough to live up to the three energy that it's costed for. Revelation Pile of Swine is tanky and can deal some high damage, but it doesn't really fit with the theme of the deck. This Pile of Swine is really good at one thing, and that's killing Metal Chansey, which you don't really have to worry about in this theme deck format. 80 damage is still a lot to stack onto your opponent in theme deck, but I did want to stick with water type cards to represent the ice type and shied away from more of the fighting ground looking Pile of Swines. For those same reasons, I did exclude Sky Ridge Pile of Swine as well. Light Pile of Swine depicts a literal pile of swine, and is a pretty decent card. I thought about using this one and pairing it with Counter Attack Claws, that way attacking into Light Pile of Swine had two potential risks. So that strategy is still available to you if you would like to include that in your version of a price deck. What else do we have in the lineup? It looks like we also have Cloyster and Jinx. The only Cloyster available is the one from Expedition, and I have tried building around this card for a request deck before, but it is just not very good, and it doesn't have very much synergy with other cards. Auto Fire can deal a lot of damage, but it's very dependent up on coin flips. On average, you're going to be dealing 40 damage for 3 energy, which a lot of other water type cards can do. Revelation Jinx would have been great in this deck because that one energy freezing kiss good night is very good, especially early game, but you would have to include psychic energy in the deck to really do anything else with it, so that's a no-go. 
Expedition Jinx almost made the cut as a Lapras alternative, but it's relatively low HP and underpowered attacks per attack cost make it a little weak. It's just an underpowered card, considering that it's a non-evolving basic. All right, what else does Stadium have for us? Um, a Tentacruel that knows Mirror Coat? I don't know that that's even legal. Somebody can fact check me on that one, but we have Articuno there. Why not? The Articuno from Sky Ridge is really difficult to use in a theme deck format. Even late game when you're probably going to have several water energy in your discard pile, it's just going through this Pokebody and having to use Freeze Solid, it's just not worth the hoops that you're going to be jumping through to pull off an Ice Cyclone. But if you're just looking to load a bunch of water energy onto a legendary damage output machine, then Legendary Collection Articuno is there. It's just that is a lot of energy to stick onto a 70 HP Pokemon. And without any form of water energy acceleration available here in theme deck formats, or at least for price at least, then you know this is a this is a rough card to power up, even with Goldberry. That is the price theme deck. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know how you would run this deck differently to spruce it up or make it a little bit better. Potential different strategies that are available. Thank you so much for watching. Social media links are down in the description. I'll see you next video. Bye.